Hello students, today in this video we will be learning a lesson from your computer book chapter number 3 Advanced Features of Word Processor. We have already learned some basic features of Microsoft Word 2013. Now we will learn how to use some advanced features of MS Word to make our document look beautiful. Formatting Tools Format Painter The Format Painter tool is useful when we want some text to have the same font, color, size and alignment. To format text, follow these steps. Number 1. Select the text you want to copy the format from. Number 2. Click Home and in the clipboard group, click Format Painter. Number 3. The pointer changes to a paintbrush icon. Click and drag the brush to select the text you want to format and then release the mouse button. Number 4. The text changes to the selected format. Subscript and superscript. When text is written below the line of normal text, it is called subscript. Example, H2OCO2. H2O is water, formulae of water, and CO2 is formulae of carbon dioxide. And when text is written above the line of normal text, it is called superscript. Superscript are used in mathematical expressions such as 3 to the power 10. To create a subscript or superscript, follow these steps. Number 1. Select the text you wish to format. Number 2. In the font group, home tab, click the X2 button for subscript or the X to the power 2 button for superscript. Number 3. The selected text will turn into a subscript or superscript. Shadows. To add shadow to a text, follow this steps number one select the text you want to add an effect to number two on the home tab in the font group click text effects and typography number three click the effect you want for more choices point to outline shadows reflection or glow editing tools we can change the look of a page in various ways for example by adjusting the default settings of margins, adding headers and footers, changing the page orientation, adding page breaks, etc. Header and footer. A page header is the text appearing at the top of every page and the footer is the text appearing at the bottom of every page of a document. The header and a footer are usually used to add titles, page numbers, date and time, pictures, etc. Creating a header. Number 1. Click Insert tab, header in the header and footer group. Number 2. A drop-down header gallery appears. Click the blank header style. Number 3. The header area appears in a dotted line. Enter the text you want as the page heading. Number 4. Press the escape key. Adding a footer. Number 1. Click the insert tab. Number 2. Click footer in the header and footer group. Number 3. A drop down footer gallery appears with different footer designs. Click blank. The footer area is displayed within the dotted line. Number 4. Type the footer text. To edit the header of footer, double click on the header or footer. Change the text as required.